Hey guys, what's up? By Zach Detron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the very first clan drifter video. And the first clan uh, that I'm stopping at is King Trolls. Uh, very, very good war clan. Have some interesting things to share about them. And this is going to be a fun video. I'm going to show some attacks, and I'm also go going to uh, give some information on them for those of you guys who might want to apply to join uh, at some point. So uh, this is going to be a fun series. I'm really excited to do it. And a uh, great group of guys, just to start, guys and girls, uh, really welcoming, uh, put a nice little thing in the clan description for me, and uh, was uh, very fun, joined, talked with them a little bit, and uh, got to see all their awesome attacks. So just taking a look at it, they have uh, quite a few members, actually 49, but their wars are pretty small, because a lot of times people just sit out to upgrade heroes, which is cool, they're a little bit more laid back, you know, not gemming the heroes like it's required in Genesis and Alpha. So that's kind of an appeal if you don't like having to spend money on your heroes. That uh, is something that might attract you to this clan. Uh, going to the War Log, they've uh, had a few red stripes but have won the vast majority of their wars. And um, recently, uh, you can see that they've won, I think they're on a 14 win streak, I think is what it said. And uh, they've beaten some pretty good clans, Pathfinder level 10, uh, some of these are pretty close, and pretty much all the ones they lost were pretty close too, so uh, definitely a good war clan. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give some information on them, and then we'll take a look at some attacks, and I'll mix some more information on later in the video. So, a statement made by uh, one of their co-leaders is that King Trolls is a fair play war clan with three star specialists across the globe. We're proud to be drama free, and generally a chill and laid back war clan uh, that takes war seriously. We're happy to be in our own little bubble, away from COC po war politics, so if they're not a mega hardcore COC addict and just love to war and are good at it, this is the place for them. So, uh, looks like it's uh, kind of away from the spotlight that you might have in like Genesis or one of the other popular war clans, so if you're looking for something that's a little, uh, you know, going to be less pressure maybe, uh, this seems like it would be a good clan to join where you can still have the... Uh, high level war experience. So anyway, uh, let's take a look at some of their attacks. Let's get to that. Uh, we'll go back to the war, two wars back against Crew C, and uh, starting with a Town Hall 10 three-star attack. This guy, uh, Johnny, has had a few great attacks. We'll look at uh, another one of his later. But uh, taking a look at this, taking on the top base, and uh, has one of those kind of ring bases that you see so much at Town Hall 10. People love using it. Uh, but great trades right there. Descends in two balloons. Gets uh, both those cannons, so awesome trades. This guy uh, building the base didn't really uh, think about that. Should have placed some archer towers or something there, some Teslas to try to stop that. But gets the CC lure as well, so great value for those balloons. Uh, pulls them out with an archer, drops down that poison, and starts dropping some barbs and wizards. The poison's going to take care of most of them, but he needs uh, the wizards and the queen to finish off the uh, dragon. So it goes down right there, awesome. Uh, here comes the golem. I like how he didn't drop the golem right away, so it hasn't taken the damages or the damage that it would have had to use it to tank because he didn't need it. Uh, so Wallbreaker's in right there, has the golem behind the queen, or the queen behind the golem. Doesn't use any healers, that was kind of interesting. Just uh, only has the 30 troop space of the golem because healers would have taken more if he brought like four healers. So very interesting, not a lot of point defense, so it works out. Then comes in with another force on the other side with a golem, a few wizards. They'll take out the defensive king. Uh, the funnel's been created for the most part, though. Here come the Valks, just send them on in. Uh, not there, It's possible they could go up to that wizard tower, but he did a pretty good job uh, just breaking that funnel. Uh, you can see they actually, they actually do go to the wizard tower, my bad. Uh, so things do start going up top. But has that second jump that they would have used ha uh, to get out of the core, drops that, that down, and does get a few troops to go in there, gets that first Inferno Tower taken out. So, excuse me, they didn't take the first jump, they took the second one. Uh, some of them did, which got the first Inferno Tower taken out. Uh, had to pop the Queen's ability, she's going to get a little low, she'll go down on the other side. Uh, but the Valks really haven't been damaged too much as they've made their way around the base. That heal spell uh, will get them healed back up as they get out of range of that Inferno Tower. And kind of an interesting attack because the Queen... Uh, does is still up uh, for a little bit longer, drops in the king. I'm not sure what his role was supposed to be. It's kind of a crazy attack. Uh, but the Valks uh, are just now finishing out those trash buildings. They're going to go straight to the core. Still has a rage left over for them. And the queen actually starts going for a wall. So she's going to sit back and uh, not take 
damage from that Inferno. The jump is still there, actually, so the, the Valks run in, take the, the jump uh, to get through the first wall, then they kind of uh, beat through the second one, get to that last Inferno Tower, it goes down. So kind of a crazy attack, but it shows how powerful those level 5 Valks are at Town Hall 10. Good attack to Johnny. We'll take a, a look at another one of his a little bit later. But uh, first, we're going to look at an attack from Orc Maniac. And uh, he's bringing uh, just kind of a Valk attack. But one thing that really stood out to me, uh, which is why I want to show it, is the one healer. Kind of a cool uh, thing. And he uses the healer to actually lure the CC troops over, then drops down the queen. So like sometimes we'll use barbarians, archers. But he uses the healer to draw the CC troops over because he wants that healer for his queen. Uh, he knows she's not going to take much damage, only from that dragon for a little while. So uh, puts down the healer to keep the queen back at full health. Kind of an interesting thing to do because I guess he didn't want to do a queen walk because some bases you don't want to. But he did want to take out the CC troops before his Valks entered the base. So very uh, you know tricky little strategy there. Worked out pretty nicely. Uh, drops in the wall breakers. They, do not, they don't quite get to that wall, but the Valks will push their way through anyway. Has that jump to let them get to some of those double giant bomb spots. Then has the heal as well. Uh, so the Valks will stay pretty good on health. They take out that little Tesla farm there, and I think they'll get over and get that Double Giant Bomb set as well. At least they'll take out the Expo, which is good enough, because the Hogs won't run across it now. Uh, so the Hogs come in from the top here, send in a big group with a heal spell, still has six more left to deploy. The Valks are tanking in the core, so the Hogs aren't taking much damage because the Valks are in there uh, soaking up all the uh, various DPS. Still has the six Hogs, we'll deploy those in just a moment, right on that Archer Tower in the cannon. And uh, you can see the king just now popped the ability. So the heroes are in the core. The queen's sniping down some defenses. Uh, she'll get that expo taken out. And uh, right there, the hogs making their way through. Uh, there is that double giant bomb set, but one hog only triggers it. So maybe a little bit lucky, but I think he was planning on his kill squad getting pretty deep into the base and helping out the hogs, which they do. The queen takes out, I think, the expo to make it uh, negate the double giant bomb spot. So that worked out nicely. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, so the hogs making their way through, they'll take out this cannon. Very low on uh, hogs right here, but they have just enough uh, to get that cannon taken out, I think. Oh, oh okay. no, tiny bit left in that cannon. Uh, so it does get a little bit close here, but he has the wizards to get the job done. We'll go ahead and go times four, because the heroes are up and the wizards are uh, cleaning up most of the base. Didn't do a queen walk, so still has a lot of time left, I think. Uh, everything makes its way through, take out that cannon. That's a three-star awesome attack to Orc Maniac. All right, so as we go to 18, which is the last attack we'll look at from this war, uh, actually a Town Hall 8 attack, um, I think, yeah. Uh, going to give a quick fact on them, just going to kind of sprinkle these in. Uh, the clan was roughly formed two years ago in 2014 by a group of friends, and uh, which now are uh, part of the leadership, and it's a really tight core of, of people that have been around for a long time, and uh, the the guy interviewed Tomato, I described it as kind of a big happy family. So that's cool. And uh, one other fact is they were always aiming for three stars right from the start. Uh, but it was the war YouTubers that really got them into the cutting edge three star strategies. So hopefully I can be one of those. Uh, I'm not sure how much they watch the channel, but uh, enough to apply. And uh, I really appreciate them having me in here. And hopefully I was, you know, part of the... Uh, the influence I think they might have mentioned that helped them, uh, you know, start learning these three star strategies and uh, specifically like what's being used by the top war clans because there is that trickle down that YouTubers can uh, create uh, where people uh, who aren't necessarily uh, in the top uh, group of war clans can still learn the strategies and become a very, very solid war clan. So, uh, anyway, let's go into this attack right now. We have uh, Tim's taking on 18, a Town Hall 8 attack. You can see he dropped the Earthquakes, let his goal on the King, I think, uh, no Valks, just the goal on the King, some Wizards, make their way in, take out the Dragon uh, with the Wizards. Here come the Hogs. He goes ahead and uses the Hogs in the CC, which is a, a good thing to do. Very powerful at Town Hall 8, those level 6 Hogs, making their way through, uh, kind of sprinkles them in, you know, avoiding any uh, huge double giant bomb explosions. And uh, you can see there that last Golemite is doing a little bit of tanking as those few hogs gets that last defense. Still has the King's ability. 
Uh, just that Tesla left at this point. There are a few skeletons on the hog, so they are going down. But right here, the king comes over, helps them out, has the wizards. Uh, we'll go ahead and go times four, because it's just clean up at this point and still has quite a few troops up left to do it. Um, awesome attack. This is a probably the only Town Hall 8 attack I'll show, but uh, they do have quite a few Town Hall 8s that are pulling some awesome attacks. So keep it up, guys. Nice job to Tim's. All right. Um, we're going to switch wars here. And as we do, we'll take a look at another piece of information uh, about this clan. We're going to go to the war uh, against Monkeys and Coma. And uh, we'll take a look at Johnny's attack. Uh, but one more thing is uh, that they do wars back to back. They do reset the search time once in a while, but uh, maybe once a month. For the most part, they're just searching as soon as the last war ends. And they do 20, uh, 20 or 25 person wars. Even though they are a big clan, like I said, the hero timers are what uh, stop a lot of people from doing war. It's not required, I guess, for you to gem your heroes for war, which is something nice uh, that you don't see in some other clans. And uh, you can only be in the war if both your heroes are there. So uh, that's why you might see 10, 15 people who are in the clan but not doing war at, at a given time. So kind of cool there. Uh, but looking at some bowlers actually, drops down some giants to tank and then a few bowlers uh, kind of on each side here. Very interesting, queen walk on the top. And uh, these bowlers, we're going to take out the archer towers, uh, so get great value for them. Uh, right there, wall breakers, and one bowler goes flying through a spring trap. Uh, but the, a few bowlers are still sitting back doing some damage, and uh, now he sends in the Valks. The bowlers did a nice job creating a funnel, so the Valks are pretty much going straight into the base. Has the double jump spell, a uh, rage, and a, a heal at some point that he's going to use. The queen's making her way through on the other side. And uh, you can see right there, there goes the heel and the second rage. Everything's making its way through the king, the giants, uh, all those Valks. Uh, hasn't even popped the king's ability yet. And has a few hogs that he can decide where he wants to deploy. Uh, and and uh, the king kind of finishing up, making his way towards the other side. Those hogs right there on the distracted defenses. Sends those three in there. They'll take out the wizard tower and some of those other defenses. While the queen goes for the other bottom left section of the base. Uh, so very cool there, worked out nicely. Still has the ability of both the heroes right now, pops the king's ability. He'll get in there, he'll take out the cannon. Uh, those few hogs still doing work, so got great value for those three hogs because everything was being tanked for. They got a number of defenses taken out and they're still gonna get a few more as they go down here for the mortar. Uh, the queen is on the wall, we'll go ahead and go times two as that one hog gets that cannon. Yep, it should get it right there. And then the last archer tower goes down. Uh, just a few trash buildings and this one's over. Awesome attacks, both of them to Johnny, getting some uh, very high level three stars. Uh, always good to see in uh, some of these clans. Okay, a few more. We have number four, uh, Pound Maker, and he is doing a uh, a kind of a go la loon with three golems. So I'm not sure what you would call that, uh, but comes in here, maybe like a stone go la loon, I think is what people call it. Uh, but comes in with um, the three golems. Still has one that he's going to wait on a little bit, just so it doesn't take that splash damage. You've seen me talk about that in the mini tips, I think. Uh, comes in with the wall breakers, a little bit close to that wizard tower, but they get the job done. They open up the wall. Uh, wizards and minions create the funnel. Uh, queen back and everything up. There goes the king. Good timing there. The king doesn't get too far out in front, so he'll stay up for quite a while because it's a pretty deep push. Have to take out the enemy king. Drops that rage, so the queen gets the value of it too. Could have been a little bit farther up, but not that bad. And uh, there's the heal, so kind of a max attack uh, with three golems. Uh, the king still making his way through, still at full health. Pops the ability, he takes out the queen in like two swings. Uh, his queen's sitting back, gonna get all three of those air defenses and start getting pretty close to the fourth one actually. But uh, pretty smart here, comes in while the archer towers are distracted. Drops those balloons, two lava hounds, and there's quite a bit of damage by that one air defense. You can see all those traps, the air skeletons. Both those Lava Hounds are actually going to go down pretty darn quickly. So uh, doesn't have any spells either for his balloons. So things go, start going down pretty quick. Uh, but right here, these balloons are closing in. The Lava Pups are going to distract that air defense for a little while. And uh, there's just enough balloons to get in there, take out the uh, uh, Expo and the air defense and the Queens up top. Uh, she'll get that Archer Tower, I think. Actually, no, she'll go, she's going to go down, but uh, has a few more balloons left up, which can get the job done, finish off these last few defenses as the Queen goes down right there. Uh, so a little bit close here, but uh, has the balloons and has some wizards, which is even more important uh, so he doesn't run out of time because there's not a lot of lava pups left up. But the wizards, the balloons, 
and the Lava Pups he does have will get the job done. Uh, swag, Poison, very cool. Nice three-star by Pound Maker. Sorry about that. Should have turned off my notifications, but, you know, wasn't expecting it. Uh, hopefully that doesn't come up too much more during the video. I will take a look at number eight. Another piece of information, though, is on their arranged war status as we take a look at Tomato's attack uh, doing a Golem Avalanche, which he actually said he saw on the channel first and then decided he wanted to try to use it in war. So that's awesome that, uh, you know, the video helped and inspired him to do this attack. So let's just go ahead and get it going before we get to the question. There we go. Wizards creating the funnel, Golems going in. Uh, but for arranged wars, uh, they say that the process has been a little bit tedious and they failed to match a few times. So they haven't been trying as much recently, but with the, the most recent update, they've had some good matches just on the random searches. Uh, so that's been fun. They've had some good wars, as you can see in some of these uh, in the war log. And uh, that being said, uh, they are still looking for arranged wars if someone wants to do it with them. So if you have a war clan that you see has similar weights, a few Town Hall 10s, Town Hall 9s, some Town Hall 8s, uh, you know, go ahead and hit them up. And uh, they are interested in doing a war. They have a YouTube channel, which I'll talk about a little more in a moment. Uh, you can contact them there. Uh, but Or you can contact me. I'll forward whatever you want to them. Uh, but anyway, uh, they are interested in doing some arranged wars. They're still hoping that there will be some features that will help them match a little bit easier. But um, if, if uh, matching is something you're good at for your clan, I'm sure you guys could match with them if you have the right weights. So like I said, if you want to do an arranged war with these guys, it sounds like they'd be all for it. So you can hit them up uh, and uh, get that set up at some point if you want. Anyway, they're looking at Tomato's attack. Coming in with the Golem Avalanche, you can see it has that dead space in the middle. All there is is that uh, Dark Elixir storage. There is the one Tesla, but no big deal there. <clears throat> uh, dropping down the jumps, letting everything keep moving. Right now, the king is just engaging the defensive queen. So he didn't actually start the attack in the hero compartment, which is something you typically see. But it worked out fine here, uh, got the job done, as you can see, with uh, his hero still being pretty much at full health. The king is getting a little bit low here, but the golems are doing most of the tanking. So something that you see sometimes in the attacks in Genesis is the king gets too far out in front, the queen maybe goes down. But right here, both his heroes stayed up for a long time, has the wizards also. And then these few hogs, which I've talked about before, which are great for the last few defenses when everything's uh, distracted on the golem. You can send these in. Get great value so it go ahead, goes ahead and sends those three in on the wizard tower and uh you can see everything finishing up right here the wizards making their way around uh yeah, i'm gonna turn off my notifications from now on uh but everything making its way through last few defenses or last few buildings go down awesome attack to tomato all right uh last attack of this video is number 17 a low level uh town hall nine attack one to have one of these for you guys with the lower level heroes um, and uh, we'll take a look at one uh, another question, not the last one, but just another piece of information as soon as this attack starts uh, at the bottom here. Okay, uh, where are we? Uh, as far as the requirements for the clan go, they have a 20 to 20 uh, Town Hall 9 hero requirement and a 30 30 Town Hall 10 hero requirement. Um, so that's for new members. I mean, you can see that they don't have that for all the current members, but because they're pretty full, they have to be somewhat strict with the, with the high level heroes. So 2020 for Town Hall 9, 3030 for Town Hall 10. Um, I'll, I mean, along this series, I'll show you guys that uh, clans that require lower level heroes, which is something that you guys could consider joining. But for this clan, uh, it's mainly high level heroes. They say they will accept lower depending on the base and the profile. So don't be discouraged. It's not that strict of a requirement, but they, as um, as a general rule, they want higher level heroes. And uh, one last thing about them is they have a YouTube channel uh, run by their co-leaders. You can probably search them up on YouTube. And uh, they used to use a form for requirement, but uh, recently I think you just imply in-game is what it's saying. And uh, their clan is mostly full, but they'll probably accept you if you have a good profile. They use Bindle. Uh, to keep track of wars and they call bases using uh, warmatch.us so uh, that's a little more information about them uh, you can see this was didn't really get to talk about this attack very much but it was a double jump uh, go Vaho and uh, you can see right here these last few defenses are going to go down to those golems actually as ha he has a, a Valk, some wizards, uh, his king doing cleanup so it looked like a good attack from what I saw, I've already watched it once but I uh, wasn't able to talk about it because I was reading that stuff, so 
Uh, it was a good attack though. Awesome job to uh, Mardena17, taking on base number 17 and uh, doing a very nice attack. So we'll go ahead and fast forward. Anyway though, hope you guys enjoyed the first ever Clan Drifter video. If your clan wasn't chosen, I apologize. Uh, I can't do every clan at once. Stay patient and uh, maybe you'll get an email at some point uh, putting you on a waiting list or saying that we'll want, I'm going to uh, be visiting soon if that's okay. So check your emails. Uh, I, you know, There's a lot of clans that I think are good fits, but I can't do every one at once. Uh, so anyway, uh, thanks to King Trolls. They're a very awesome clan for letting me come by. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Check them out if you're interested in the clan. And uh, yeah, that'll do it for this video. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'll see you guys later. Bye, Stectatron out.